So hopefully, Tuesday, everything's going to be three, two, one, take off. Uh, the crew at NASA Wallops Flight Facility is getting ready for yet another launch with us this afternoon to tell us more about it. Is uh, He's got every single one of the out-of-this-world details. This, this is the man with NASA Wallops Office of Communications. This is Keith Kohler. Keith, how are you? All right. Good to be here this afternoon. It's good to see you. Good to talk to you. So uh, launch date to resupply the International Space Station is coming up. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, we'll be launching the Northrop Grumman Antares rocket again uh, coming up. The last one was in February, so we've got one coming up on Tuesday, September 29th. Uh, launch time is at 10.27 p.m., uh, so it's a night launch, so it uh, should be a really good show for everybody, uh, in the, especially in the mid-Atlantic region and possibly the uh, almost the entire East Coast. You're certainly dependent on good weather. How is that looking from here? Uh, weather is still a little bit far out. You have to really take a really good look at it. So uh, maybe uh, Dan can give you a little bit better idea of what things look like on <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> so what what is it you're taking up there to them? So we'll be taking up various supplies. I mean, you know, some clothing. We've got some cargo going up, uh, some experiments that are going to be going up, uh, a new space toilet uh, that they're going to be testing out for long-duration missions. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much the usual type of stuff. Um, and so uh, it's about 8,000 pounds worth of uh, supplies and food and, and clothing, those types of things. It's just absolutely amazing how you do that. Uh, and and it's it is still science. It's not something that's just a routine matter of fact thing that happens. But you've got COVID nineteen to deal with now. How has that impacted trying to pull off a mission like this? Yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, I mean, like you said, I mean we have COVID nineteen, uh, so everybody is is uh, wearing a mask when they come on the base. When you actually come on base, we get a nice little cute uh, wristband that shows we've gone through uh, COVID COVID protocols of of asking the questions, have we been around anybody, temperature checks, those types of things. Uh, inside the control room, uh, we have, you know, everybody's gonna be wearing a mask. In some cases, uh, we have to put up plastic barriers if people aren't six feet apart. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to do everything possible while they're on this base uh, to maintain safety. So it is a little bit different than, than what we typically would do. Okay, so you've got a, a pandemic that you're having to deal with. You've got also a very active hurricane season that you've had to deal with. How has that worked out? Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's been a really busy hurricane season, especially the last two weeks. I mean, we had uh, Hurricane Paulette went right over Bermuda, where we have one of our tracking stations, and that tracking station is really key for for tracking the Antares rocket as it goes into orbit. So uh, we had Paulette two weeks ago. We had Hurricane Teddy go by Bermuda just this past week. Uh, so we had tropical storm uh, conditions there. So uh, it's, we've had a crew there the whole time, and, and uh, it's been a challenge for them. But everything has is, is actually come out pretty clean. So uh, we haven't had any damages, a little bit of water intrusion. But uh, really, that's been about it. So, you know, we're really thankful for that. And uh, everybody's done a, just a great job uh, there and here uh, getting ready for this mission. Wow, that's not really bad at all. Uh, how can we watch this launch? What's the best way? Well, here on the shore, you know, anywhere on, really on the shore, you can watch it. Uh, just go out your backyard and uh, look towards uh, Wallops. Uh, if you have an idea where that's at in relation to where you're at, if we have a good clear skies. And then, um, you know, you can also watch NASA TV. We'll start coverage on NASA TV about 10 o'clock. So if you want, you can watch it on there and then run outside real quick to be able to see the launch. All right, so uh, three, two, one, zero. about how long is it going to take for this thing to get into the air where we can see it? It really depends on where you're at. If you're anywhere near Wallops, you'll probably see it within seconds after launch. Uh, as you get a little bit further out, uh, you know, it could take as much as, as 20, 30 seconds, depending on where you're at. Uh, but we do have a map on the NASA website, uh, nasa.gov slash Wallops, and there is a map. Uh, with some concentric circles there, and it kind of gives you an idea of where you're, where you might be located, and about how long it would be before you actually would see the rocket. All right, can't wait for it. Hope everything goes as planned. Keith Kohler with NASA Wallet's Office of Communications. Thank you so much. What do you? I mean, to an actor, you say break a leg. What do you say for a rocket launch? Uh, 
keep flying, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Light the fuse, something. Keith, best wishes for everything. Thanks for talking to us this afternoon. Good to be here.